What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and I got a game against Joel and his dwarfs. Now, um, I just played a game the night before against Todd. I got my ass smoked by some dwarf gun line, and I was just like, nah. I was, I, I spent most of the night actually thinking about what went wrong, where it went wrong, and how could I fix it next time I play a dwarf player. Well, coincidentally, Joel sent me a message and said, hey, you want to play a game on Sunday? And I'm over here thinking Joel's going to bring his uh, ogre army, because that's the last time I ever played Joel was playing against his ogres. So I was thinking, I'm going to play his ogres, and um, I have strategies for ogres now that I think will be pretty beneficial against them. And when I show up, Joel has his dwarf army out, and I'm like, oh shit, it's going to be a back-to-back a -back dwarf day kind of day. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, utilize what I was thinking about using against Todd. The one thing, the big difference between Todd's army and this army is the fact that it's 3,000 points. So I got a lot more toys to play with. So um, without further ado, let's get into what we brought on the table. So on my side, here is my green skins. My green skins, they have, um, it's 38 or 39 orc ed bashers. They have a BSB in there. The BSB is Bebop. He has the um, Ironhide banner, which gives him a five up ward against shooting. Which is probably going to have to be my tank unit if he brings organ guns. Just to be honest, because they're going to get shot the hell up, and they're good. T they're a good toughness. They have that ward save. That's the most likely unit to be able to take a couple hits. Over here, I got my trusty A Rock. The A Rock is um, is a uh, gargantula spider, nicknamed the Ragnarok, nicknamed the A Rock, nicknamed Khaleesi now. <laughs> Mother of Dragons. Over here, I got my unit of 28 goblins, cave goblins. They have three mad gets in the unit. They have nets, and they have a level two goblin shaman. In all fairness, the last few games I used them in, the goblin shaman is basically the only use this is getting. <laughs> this is a bunker for the shaman. Over here, I got a unit of 30, um, I think it's like 28 or 29, um, Nasher Herd. So the Nasher Herd, uh, th these guys are just pretty brutal. Right now, um, in all fairness, these guys are great against anybody who's slower. So Dwarves are great, Ogres are great, Lizardmen are great, um, Undead are great. But then when you fight stuff that's faster, like say Skaven or Elves, these guys are basically paper. They're like Pac-Man without the power pellet. All right, just... All right, so um, over here I got my... One of my new favorite items that I've been playing with the last like month or so, which is my my stone thrower, the splatterer, and uh, I, you know to be honest, it's just I think it's a fun thing. It, sometimes it does great, sometimes it doesn't do shit. Most of the time, it just misfires and just breaks down on the first turn. Anyways, over here, this is my other unit that I am just having a blast with. This is my twenty forest goblins skirmishers with the poison banner. Now. The banner is like mother's gift. That's what it is. But um, I know it looks like there's two characters in there. It's not one of them is going to be the standard bearer. The other one is just basically a guy on fire. Um, <laughs> and uh, I got work to do on the skirmish tray and all that. But when I get there, when I get there. Either way, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is a very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, the, the unit could do so much. It has uh, ability to be stubborn. It has ability to um, just harass people. And it has ability to be a war machine hunter. It has an ability to take out good chunks of units before they get into combat. It is such a good utility unit. Over here, I have a, a unit of chaff. It's five goblin wolf riders, um, raiders. And then I have, sorry, Evil Ash, the chicken head on the spider. Chicken head on the spider, he has... Um, Basically a two up armor, Bane Beast Halberd, uh, four up regen, or the two up ward against fire. So uh, besides that, I have over here, I have my general, General Dread. Warboss Dread, he is, um, he has a two up armor, he has seven attacks, and a four up ward. And then I also have, as you can see, that is one of the git launchers right there. The other git launchers over here with some other stuff I have on the left... You can see that's the giant behemoth. That is my giant model. Um, right underneath him, that is the returning Kabuto the Python. Kabuto hasn't played a game in God knows how long. Ever since I started putting the Shaman with the Crown of Command and, and Fencer Blades in 8th edition. 
uh, in my unit of orcs. That's how long it's been since Kabuto saw the table. But you know what? I really miss having Kabuto run around and just shooting whatever the hell he wants to shoot. So the other thing too is ever since they, they nerfed the Crown of Command, Shaman is like headhunted in that unit of orcs. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to, even though in this game he's going to be... Um, it, it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult because I am playing dwarves. He has cannons. He has organ guns. I'm going to go ahead and just still play this. Utilize his range for the best potential and see what I could do. Um, next to him is the long shot. Long shot is uh, a goblin hero. He has uh, the skull splitter bow and then well, it's not even a bow. It just says skull splitter. So I'm changing it to a shotgun when I get when I finish up the model after I finish up the forest goblins and the bases and the skirmish trays and all that crap. Then another get launcher, and those two guys in the back, those are not mine. Those are his proxies for his gyrocopter. Um, he forgot to bring his gyrocopters, didn't paint them up or something like that, so I just said, here, you use these two flying squigs as gyrocopters, steam copters. As for my opponent, check this out. This is a huge block. Now, again, I'm going to say it, Joel, if you're watching this, if you haven't seen my other reports, I'm a racist. I think all dwarves look the same. Your dwarves are dwarves with giant axes, <laughs> okay? Um, and then in the back, you can see he has two organ guns, he has two cannons, he has two engineers, um, and then this giant block. I think this is actually just his warriors with great weapons. Um, so he has like 40 of those guys. He has another unit over here of like 40 more guys with great weapons. They look like miners, but they're not miners. There's the rest of his artillery back there as well. Um, over here, he has his hammers. And the hammers are more doors with more great weapons. These guys are pretty buck though. They get two attacks each. His uh, general and his runesmith are in that unit, as well as this unit over here. It's his, it looks like graybeards on this one, um, but these guys are actually hand weapon shields. Um, I think his general might be in this one actually. I don't remember which. They all look the same to me, man. Um, and like I said, organ gun, organ gun, cannon, cannon. All right, guys, this is gonna be great. I am like, oh shit, he has cannons, because Todd brought just organ guns. I have a problem with just the organ guns, but he has cannons, and I have three big targets that have nothing else to do but get shot up by these fucking things. This is going to suck, and one of them's flying, so if I get shot by my general and don't take a ward save, he's going to die. <laughs> that simple. So, uh, we play battle, standard battle line. I, um, I actually won the roll off where I could drop off first, okay? And you know what I decided to do? I actually throw down like one unit. I think I threw down just the Wolf Raiders on the on the flank over there. Or, or I forgot. No, actually I threw out the Forest Goblins. I threw out the Forest Goblins right by the forest. And I was like, you know what, Joel? Knock yourself out, buddy. Put all your units wherever the hell you want to put them. Because not only... I actually did this as a... Um, for two reasons. One is I want to see where he places things. Two is... I gotta get used to not winning that first roll off. If I win the first roll off, of course I should take it. Of course I should just drop my army down, and of course I should just use that that turn to shoot and get get a good movement advantage and all that. But in all honesty, if I if I'm gonna if if that's the make or break of the the win, I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to win even if I'm the second person to go. So I was like, go ahead. I want I need to practice going second. I need to not take advantage of when I get an advantage like that. And I'm just going to drop one guy. If you want to drop your whole army, go ahead. So he drops his whole army. He's going to get first turn, of course. And then that also gave me an option to see, okay, I see where his cannons are. And his cannons are center to the top side um, from this perspective. So if you could see on my corner, I'll pull up a better picture over here. I made this wall of meat. That is my wall of meat, guys. It's the giant... Blocking the Arachnorok, blocking the general. <laughs> he shoots a cannon, he's going to hit the giant. I, if the giant dies, he dies. Um, it, that's kind of what the giant's job has been, is to soak up cannon fire. But, you know, I... I could, you know, I want to keep my general safe. The cannons have free range of shooting whatever the hell they want. The one thing I didn't know, which was... The hill is infinitely high, so the giant could technically hide behind the hill as well. Oh well, live and learn. Um, besides that, uh, I basically, you know, put out my the rest of my units as you see, um, and then I put Kabuto in the unit of Wolf Riders to start. He'll he'll break off on another turn, but he he's there just so he doesn't get shot up on the first turn. Um, over here, I did get my vanguards off. 
and I lined up Chicken Head and Longshot directly in front of those cannons. That's their job. They gotta take out these fucking cannons, okay? So Chicken Head and Longshot are just boom moving up. They don't care. They just they're just gunning it. Of course, Chicken Head got the side with the trees in the in the wall. Longshot got the clear shot. All right, turn one. Dwarven holds. Here we go, guys. Let's see how it goes. He moves. Um, actually, his warriors on the right side. He ha they're actually on the hill where that dice is, but they were gonna tip over. So he moved these guys up a little bit, just ever so slightly. Um, and he kind of angled his guys so that way, if I charge with chicken head, um, out he'll be able to uh, like counter charge or whatever, right? Um, so he just kind of moved up around like this. Uh, this side, same thing. He's using the trees to his advantage. He wants me to charge him through the trees, and that way I lose uh, ranks. Um, but basically, he has it up like this. He didn't move much. He's a dwarf player. They don't move. Magic phase, he got eight power dice, um, and he does, I don't know, some random shit. It doesn't matter. Nothing's in close range. All the dwarf spells are really kind of like close range, close combat kind of stuff, so it didn't really matter. Um, shooting, here it goes. First organ gun. He decides, you know what, fuck it, he has to protect his cannon, so he shoots it right at long shot. And uh, he gets off like eight shots, but he misses a ton, and he ends up wounding long shot only once. I actually made like two armor saves too, but he only uh, gets one wound off on Longshot. That's great because Longshot only has two wounds total, but um, he goes for his second Oregon gun, which is on the other side of the board, and he actually goes for Chicken Head. And you know what? This is where Evil Ash is like, you know, you gotta take the Wolf Chicken Head because the, the Spider Chicken Head's an imposter, and right now, Evil Ash, you're wrong. Alright? He got shot up by that Oregon gun. He's in the trees. He got long range. He's going to go ahead and shoot, and he gets a shit ton of shots off, too. And look at this. Bing, 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 bing. Chicken head ward saved almost everything, or armor saved almost everything. Actually, he did everything. He's fine, man. He got seven wounds. He didn't get shit through. Chicken head is healthy, and now he's like, ah, oh, crap. Let me use my cannons. He's going to go ahead and do his first cannon. He's just going to be like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go shoot the, the target I'm supposed to shoot, which is the giant. Bam! Shoots the giant, gets him off three wounds. Second shot cannon goes bam kills the giant Ah, giant is dead causes no panic checks general still chilling right there the bsb is right there and everybody's in horde formation and everybody is good to go um as you can see there's a hole in my heart where the giant used to be it's gonna go ahead and start off orcs and goblins turn one dun, dun, dun. charge long shots going for the charges to the cannon he's like fuck this shit i got this chicken head's gonna go ahead and do the charge fails the charge i believe or actually, I think I, he just he was way out of range. So long shot runs in, boom, gets in right away, right away. Take out that fucking cannon, long shot. Take that shit out. Uh, chicken head could not charge. He was too far. Um, it was just it, it was angled differently. So chicken head just moves up, um, kind of chaffing his way. The forest goblins move into the forest, of course. The a rock, since the left side is clear from that cannon, the a rock is moving. It's still behind the building, still behind that little rock. General moves up a little bit to the left. The Wolf Riders move up. I think my... Yeah. Kabuto sits back by the War Machines. And then the Orcs and the Squigs move up. The uh, Cave Goblins kind of got chaffed up by a wall. But they're kind of sitting kind of sitting back in case um, I could let some uh, Mad gets through. Uh, magic Phase, I got six Power Dice. Okay, so I go ahead and I throw up my first spell, which is Swarm of Insects. I get it off on an eight. And he's like, go ahead. He lets me get it through. And I throw it right at the cannon, and BAM! I kill the other cannon. Yes! No cannons. My monsters are good to go. All right. Um, over here, I go ahead and I do the, the the tribute, and I move my general a couple inches. I go ahead and I throw the rest of my dice onto the Devouring Darkness. I get double sixes, and he decides, you know what? Go ahead and take it. He wants to see me blow up. So I go ahead and I, I do it. It sucks in, uh, it <laughs> sucks in, <laughs> like, 11 or 9 of my goblins, uh, like, 10 goblins. 10 goblins, holy shit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it onto his unit of, uh, of warriors over here on this side. And it goes ahead and gets a direct hit right in, or just a little bit, but basically a direct hit. And it sucks in, holy shit, look at that. Uh, it looks like 4... Uh, 14 guys. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a good one. Uh, it was well worth the, the, the 10 goblins that it cost. <laughs> 
Oh, man. But that's the end of my magic phase. We're going to go into shooting. Shooting the forest goblins. They're going to go ahead and shoot at uh, this gyrocopter. And they end up doing five wounds to it and blow it up. <sighs> Good. Um, over here, my Aerox is going to go ahead and shoot its web launcher. And this is something I said on the last battle report. Just, i got to stop using this against dwarves. i just got to move up with the Aerox. But I go ahead and I shoot it anyways. And it ends up killing off three three of his uh, warriors here. My stone thrower, the splatterer, is going to go ahead and shoot. And it shoots and it drifts off over here. And uh, I think it, kill, it kills one guy. The ambulance, guys! Everybody, it's the fucking ambulance again. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let this go by. All right, the git launchers. Git launchers, go ahead and shoot. And they. I told myself in the last video that anytime I see these freaking iron guard, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my git launchers at them. And I am. So I go ahead and I shoot them and I kill off two of his iron guard right here with the git launchers. Um, the other... That's it, actually. That's it. For shooting phase, we're going to go into close combat. Close combat, guess what? It's the long shot. He charges in. I did arm him with a lance. He goes ahead first, and he ends up killing off two. Two of the guys there. The third guy sticks, and they are stubborn. But that's great, because even if, no matter what he does, he can't shoot me with that cannon on this turn. And it's going to go ahead and start off Dwarves turn two. Dwarves turn two. He's going to charge his engineer into long shot and I can't do anything about it he got him there okay he's gonna go ahead and move his units up over here as you can see um, they're protecting the wall it kind of screws over chicken head a little bit um, and that's it really magic phase he got nine power dice he's gonna go ahead and buff up his uh, engineer over here to kind of mess up long shot I can't do nothing about it He's going to go ahead and uh, shoot his organ gun. Start off the shooting phase. He's going to shoot his organ gun at chicken head. It shoots him. It hits him. It wounds him. Like, holy shit. Twice. That's it. Just twice. And he, long shot, or long shot, uh, chicken head gets two armor saves. Woo! He's going to shoot with the second organ, organ gun at chicken head. And he gets off five wounds, or four wounds. And chicken head, bing, 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 bing. Four more saves. Holy shit. Actually, I don't think that was that. I think that was something else. I don't know what the 2-2 two -two was for. Whatever. Um, but, the uh, second organ gun actually shot at my goblin raiders. Killed off one goblin raider only. Um, I did make... No, he killed off two, actually. Three. 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 Take it back. He killed off four. The one guy sitting there. That's the last one alive. That one stuck, though, because the general's behind him. Killed off four of my goblin raiders. That solo guy which was originally the onion knight is still there um he's gonna go ahead and do close combat close combat over here he hits long shot doesn't wound long shot long shot tries to kill off the cannon and he fails to kill off the cannon he charged he got a side flank i fail my leadership and long shot runs through his warriors pops out the other side in front of his uh organ gun and that is it that is all he got i took dangerous trains for all those guys and he is fine um and that's about it it's gonna start off orcs and goblins turn two orcs and goblins turn two my solo guy here is gonna charge into that organ gun he's like well what else am i gonna do um he uh he gets in right here long shot fails to rally and runs towards the edge of the table. Son of a bitch. Uh, chicken Head decides to go through the units. Bob and Weave. And turn around facing that cannon. He he has to hit that cannon. He can't. I can't do much else besides that. So that's about it. Um, and everybody else is kind of. I think I. Did I stick around? I don't remember. But I did move. Um, Kabuto. In dangerous way, but he has other things to worry about besides Kabuto. Um, but as you can see, this is kind of how I moved everybody. Uh, my forest goblins stayed in the forest. My cave goblins really couldn't move much because the Nash was in the way. And I don't want to give up my my charge. I don't want him to charge me, more or less. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, my guys are all about, I think, 13 inches away. So he needs tens to charge in. And uh, either way, this will be pretty nice. Uh, Magic Phase got six power dice. I go ahead and I try to throw up the bees again. I throw up two dice onto it, get an 11. He stops it. He's like, he's not going to kill that other cannon. So I go ahead and I throw up Orb of Blackness. And he he lets this one go through. And check this out. Wow, 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 wow. I throw the orb right there. That's a little bit bigger than the orb's supposed to be. But we still played with it just because it looked cool on camera. Anyways, so his cannon cannot shoot shit on this side. I pretty much blocked him off. And uh, that's just great. That's awesome. Um, 
over here, I'm going to go ahead and throw up three dice onto Curse of the Wildwood. He lets it go through, and I throw it right onto this unit, uh, chilling by Chicken Head, because I want to kill these guys. They're going to try to move up or, or charge in. They can't do shit now. And they're going to probably lose. If they charge in or move or march, they're going to lose at least five guys. At least five. All right. Magic, or um, shooting. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Git Launcher, and guess what? It breaks. It can't do shit anymore. I'm going to shoot my... Or not my git launcher, my web launcher, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my git launcher and it breaks! What the flying fuck? Two in a row, guys. Two in a row, and they both blow up. Okay, cannot shoot this one anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the third git launcher, or the or second git launcher, third catapult, really. And it breaks! What the hell? <laughs> it can't shoot for the rest of the game! <laughs> oh, God damn! Damn it, I gotta burn that misfire dice. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the rock thrower, the splatterer, at his freaking steam copter that's coming in. Actually, that's where everything was shooting at. It was all shooting at that same steam copter. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this one, and there's no misfire, thank God. But guess what? It just drifts off, and it actually clips my A rock. <laughs> so his, get his uh, steam copter is gonna get in by the next turn, and those war machines are SOL. Uh, my may rock didn't take a wound though because it wasn't the center hole um over here the onion knight he kills off one of his war uh crew his crew fails to wound the onion knight and this is just a wolf raider a simple wolf raider he fails to wound it but he's stubborn and we're gonna stick there for a round it's gonna go ahead and start off dwarves turn three dwarves turn three he's gonna charge his warriors that are on the hill into my Dragon Rammer. My Dragon Rammer stands and holds and is not going to do shit. And uh, I actually think he fails the charge. Um, he's going to charge his warriors over here into my um, Forest Goblins. I'm going to stand and shoot with them. And I don't think I actually killed anybody. We'll find out in a second. Um, he's going to charge his Steam Copter over here. He gets in here. My stand and shoot only kills off one guy here, but they get in and he tries to get me to to bunch up outside the forest so that sucks and this is how it looks um and he fails charge here like i said um i think that's it he just kind of angles his guy so he doesn't have to like um he's like he can counter charge me kind of a deal um uh, over here this is kind of how it looks yep magic phase he got eight power dice he's gonna go ahead and buff up the crew over here I think he gives them plus one to hit or something like that. So uh, they can hit Chicken Head easier. He goes ahead and that's about it. He's going to shoot his shooting phase and shoot at Chicken Head. No, actually, sorry. Take it back. He buffs up this unit here to give them some sort of buff. I don't remember. There's no cards to this. I, it's hard for me to remember the specific spells. Most of the spells that I let go through, are, I, I don't think that they will uh, change the round. So I don't, like, sweat it too much. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so he buffs up that unit. He's going to go ahead and turn his organ gun onto Chicken Head. And he shoots the organ gun for the third time at Chicken Head. And he doesn't wound it at all. He shot the cannon at Chicken Head. It wounds him. And I ward saved it. Or regen saved it. Chicken Head, you are the motherfucking man. You just soaked up at least like 20 to 30 shots and a cannon to the face and you have not a scratch on you you are the man chicken head over here uh we're gonna go ahead and do this close combat over here i end up killing off one of his guys or actually i don't think i killed anybody and he didn't kill any of mine or my only one left and they actually stick there for a round of combat it's a push nobody did any wounds we're just gonna sit there for another round um over here his his steam copter kill my splatterer and he overruns right into my git launcher Ugh. over here he ends up killing off holy shit three six nine nine of my forest goblins i go ahead and attack back and i kill nothing <laughs> i didn't kill a goddamn one um he's gonna uh force me to flee i am stubborn in the forest but my general's on the other side of the table. They're on a leadership six, and they're going to run. He chases them, and he kills them, and he mows them down, and that unit is, like, dead. Uh, he he does have a, um, on the following turn, if I don't move my cave goblins, he does have a rear charge into my cave goblins, so I have to figure something out and move them. Um, and that's how the table looks at the end of his turn. It's going to start off 
orcs and goblins turn. I think this is three. If it's not three, it's four. Whatever. Uh, you'll see it in the text. Anyways, chicken heads charging into that cannon. Fuck that cannon. <laughs> oh, man. Um, long shot fails to rally and runs to the tip of the table. He rolled like a four or something like that. And he is still on the table, but barely. Just barely. And, uh, or just like, dude, you got one more turn. And not only that, he's in my general's bubble. He just can't pass that leadership check. He, I mean, that, that one dwarf scared the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, I move everybody up like this. I am still not charging. Right now, what I did was I moved Dread and the A-Rock to the side flank of his warriors. As you see, he did reform his warriors to be smaller, and, uh, so they're file and rank, versus being in horde formation, because I killed a good chunk of them with that uh, Pit of Shades. So I did move everybody onto this side. My Kabuto is safe now. Kabuto can run around wherever the hell he wants to run around, basically, because Kabuto doesn't have... There's nobody can shoot him. Same thing with the A-Rock and the General. There's nobody... The only Oregon gun is on the right side of the table, and we are on the left side of the table. So, um... I just kind of... I'm still playing this game where I'm just like, you know what, if this is what you want to do, go ahead. Um, I move my Cave Goblins an inch or two to the right to release the Mad Gits, too. So that's that's a thing how I played it. Uh, Magic Phase got six power dice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the Beast Within onto my Orc. So if he charges me, I'm straight tough five. <laughs> that's nuts. A unit that's tough five and straight five. Um, he lets it go through. I go ahead and I throw up a couple dice onto Curse of the Wildwood. Fail it, and I throw up a couple dice onto the Glimpse of the End, and I fail it. Those are horrendous rolls, by the way. <laughs> um, over here, like I said, I release the Mad Gits. I go ahead and I throw them through the trees. Um, I throw one through my own Nashers to go that way to chaff him up in case he wants to charge my Nashers um, and it kills off only one Nasher um, the other ones the other two I send them in the woods one died on the woods one hits the unit and the one that hit the unit kills off six guys <laughs> that's awesome that's a good job there um, and uh, close combat close combat chicken head wipes out his cannon wipes it out now I got my choice to overrun into that unit but first, since a unit died, he has to take panic checks. He takes a panic check with his general's bunker with the BSB. He fails it. He grabs his dice, doesn't he? He's just mumbling some stuff. And he rolls it again, and he fails it again. And his general's bunker runs away. Fucking chicken head made a whole dwarf hammerer unit run away. That is nuts. And Chickenhead's going to overrun into the Warriors here, which sticks them. They can't do shit when I charge with, with Dread and the A-Rock for the next turn. Um, and uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Over here, the Onion Knight fails to wound the guys. They fail to wound the Onion Knight. And this fight is continuing on for like the third time. It's going to go ahead and start off Dwarves turn four. He's going to go ahead and move his guys this way. He rallies his General's unit. And faces off towards the squigs. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, he moves his organ gun to the top of the hill. Um, magic phase, he gets 10 power dice. And I don't know what the hell he did with the magic. We're going to go into... Sh uh, there was shooting. Shooting, he shot his organ gun into chicken head. Or no, he can't shoot it at chicken head. I forgot who he shot it at. I think he tried to shoot the dragon rammer. But it doesn't matter. Everybody's cool. Everybody's cool, guys. We're going to go to... Uh, Close combat, close combat. Or no, this is actually still magic. Magic, he buffed up this unit here. And, yeah, that was it. He buffed up this unit here to make him, I think, minus one to hit. Or minus one to wound or something like that. Then he shot at the dragon rammer, excuse me. He shoots at the dragon rammer and he ends up doing one wound to the dragon rammer. Um, over here, the onion knight kills one of the guys. The other guy sticks. Nobody else got wounded. And that is it. They're still there for another goddamn round of combat. Another goddamn round of combat. That's crazy. And uh, over here, his steam copter wiped the floor with my uh, git launcher. He overruns and runs into the next git launcher. Wah, wah, wah. Um, close combat over here. Chickenhead kills off two of his guys. He goes in and swings back. He ends up doing one wound onto Chickenhead. Now, he has three ranks, a banner, and uh, one wound. Okay? Three ranks, banner, wound. That's five. Okay? I have a charge, a side flank, and two wounds, so I'm only down by one. The general is right there, and Chickenhead passes. He doesn't care. 
He's going to stick there for a round. Ah, <laughs> oh, chicken head. You are something amazing here. All right. So, um, it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins. Turn four. Dragon Rammer's charging into that to that Oregon gun uphill. He don't care. My A-Rock and my General are charging into that fucking Dwarf Horde right there. They're going for it. I can easily fly over that. The A-Rock, unfortunately, is a front charge, but the General is definitely a side charge. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. My squigs. Now, here's the thing. I actually had the choice. Both, I think it's close to, I, I mean, the, the, the Nashers could obviously charge in. That's not, a, that's a given. I do have to run into my own fanatic, though. The orcs can charge in because I'm calling out the log with my general just for the hell of it. And they could charge in. They will have 3d6, and it wasn't that far of a charge. I think it might have been like a 9 or something like that. Um, the dragon rammer's charging in, of course, but. I thought about this for like a couple minutes. I was thinking about if I could charge in with both units. I mean, I do have to make the 90 degree turn around that freaking pillar. They probably won't both get in. If they do, it's going to be really weird and really hard to go in. I could go in either with my orcs and just deal with the consequences of it possibly losing that unit. Because I've lost to, to hammers before. Or I could go with the squigs. And then I started thinking about it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, they're both strength 5. They're both weapon skill 4. They're both, you know, the orcs are tougher. The orcs have, um, you know, some better defenses. But I thought about it. And I was like, my orc horde is like a 600 point unit easily. You know, with the BSB in there and the banners and all that crap. The squigs are like 200. I'm going to send in the squigs. <laughs> So the Nashers go in alone. They go into that, that fanatic and they lose two fanatics and a spear tip on top of my guy. And uh, they're in combat like so. Um, over here, Longshot failed his fucking rally for the third time and he runs off the table. Stupid ass Longshot. And the Orc Horde. Um, Kabuto joins the Orc Horde. The reason why Kabuto joined the Orc Horde was because I was kind of worried that his... Um, organ gun will be free in the next turn and his only target is Kabuto so I was like ah, Kabuto just join this unit here for now um, I just rally or turn my swift reform my horde this way facing off at the dwarf warriors um, and then I reformed my goblins to face off against his warriors here that were coming up off across my side um, so I, my, my whole thing is right now is he could charge these guys, and if I flee, I could pot potentially, I think like a, I need like a 7, I'll hit my own orcs and pop out the other side, and he'll have to either recharge, redirect into my orcs, which is fine, I could deal with that, alright, magic phase, got 4 power dice, wonderfully 4, okay, whatever, I would throw 4 dice onto the beast within to beef up my squigs, I get double 6's, he lets it go through, okay, great, so now there's strength 6 squigs, okay, he lets me go through because he wants to see me blow up. I roll an 11 and I lose the spell and that's the only spell I lost. That's good for me. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah. And then um, I use this to move my orc horde a bit, the tribute. Let's go into close combat. He challenges. He wants Dread to not kill as many guys. And I'm like, you know what? Chicken Head will take the challenge. <laughs> So Chicken Head does take the challenge and chumps up that one champion and he's like shit My general dread goes with all eight of his attacks and he only kills off three dudes. Come on, man <laughs> Oh, man, Nidhogg goes Nidhogg goes and kills off two more guys. Oh shit The A-Rock goes the A-Rock kills off three more guys the goblins go the goblins kill off I don't even know where they are. I lost count two more guys the Thunder Stomp goes, and the Thunder Stomp kills off. I lost count again. Like, four guys. Holy shit. He goes and attacks the A-Rock, does one wound to the A-Rock, and that is it. Holy shit. That's the rest of his unit there. And he's also, like, minus one to wound or something like that, or minus one to hit. And that is what's left of his unit. He sticks. He has one rank for Steadfast, one extra rank for Steadfast, and I don't. I have two monster ranks. I don't even think the general's thing counts as a monster rank. So, he is steadfast, but it's fine. We'll kick his ass in the next turn. That that team right there of Team Orange there just whooped ass on a shit ton of guys. 
This guy, this epic fight here, this fight that has never ended, is still continuing on. And they fail to wound each other again. What's going on here, guys? Are you guys just, like, talking the whole time? Are you doing, like, that, like, thing where you're, like, chasing each other around the machine, using it as, like, the table in between? Like, no. No, no. You're going that way? You're going that way. I don't know. Nothing happens. They stay there. Over here, his get or his steam copter does one wound onto my git launcher. My git launcher does one wound back to his steam copter, but it didn't matter. I stick in combat, though. <laughs> so it's going to stick there for a turn. Um, and uh, as for my squigs... Wow, my squigs were hungry. Holy shit. 5, 10, 13 guys. They kill 13 dwarf warriors. His dwarf warriors go back and they kill off. Or I'm sorry, his dwarf lord goes, kills off three of my squigs. The rest of his guys go and they killed off a total of, looks like 10 squigs. Or 11 squigs. 11 squigs he killed. Woo! My squigs obviously won combat, I believe. And, uh, actually, I think he might have won combat by one. I think he did win combat by one. He did 11 wounds. He has two ranks and a banner and a BSB. So that's 15 for him. I got a charge. Yeah, I only did a charge in nine, nine wounds. So he won combat, but I stick because my general's right behind him and the BSB's right behind those guys. And they're going to stay there for another round. Um, over here, the dragon rammer just rams the crap out of them. Kills off, like, two of these guys. I think he sticks there for stubborn, though. And that is it. It's going to go ahead and start off dwarves turn five. Dwarves turn five. He charges. I'm like, all right, this, here it goes. I need a flee. Flee through my unit for a seven. And what do I roll? I roll a three. <laughs> he charges and kills off my goblins. God damn it. Uh, he's going to charge over here into the dragon rammer. And uh, with his, his engineer. And... Uh, uh, he's going to try to do a long charge from his warriors into my Nashers, and he fails that charge. And uh, that's it. Magic phase, he got six power dice. He's going to buff up his unit over here, make him harder to hit. He buffs up this unit over here uh, for my in case of my counter charge. And that is it. He has no shooting. We're going to go straight into close combat. Close combat. General Dread goes, kills off four guys. The A Rock goes, kills off the rest of the guys. Woo! They wiped them out to a man without even trying all right so what happens here um i think do i overrun no i don't overrun i think i just turn them all around so i turn the a rock and the general facing his horde on this side and i leave chicken head facing the direction he is because he's tired of that onion knight fighting that single guy in case he doesn't finish him this round so we're gonna go to the onion knight fight and they stick there for another round are you kidding me? I would be happy if he actually killed me. Because <laughs> this is just going nowhere. I am having two attacks. Two attacks. Goblin's accuracy is shit. It's we weapons kill two. But the dog should have killed him. The dog. <laughs> uh, over here he does another wound onto my git launcher. And he kills off my git launcher. Over here he um, can't wound my... My dragon rammer, my dragon rammer sits there for a turn. Um, over here, my Nashers go again, and they kill off six of his hammers. He goes ahead and he kills off at least five of my, no, four of my Nashers. And my Nashers, oh wait, that was four from his general. Then the rest of the hammers go, and they kill off almost all my Nashers. I only have three Nashers left. I took them out like this because I figure if they blow up the six-inch radius is a little bit further from my orcs. Not only that, but it's going to go hit that unit over there. So I'm like, all right, cool. And my Nashers do blow up. They kill off, looks like, one or two more of his guys on his uh, hammers and kills off one random warrior walking by. Um, and he, I think, just reformed this way. And as you can see right now, it looks like he has a wave of dwarves coming. And uh, I have my wave of greenskins coming. How did we turn perpendicularly? I don't know. I mean, we were all facing off parallel to each other, and now we're all perpendicular. Whatever happened? I, I, I don't understand that, but whatever. It's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn 5. Orcs and Goblins turn 5. It's beautifully charging here. I'm charging the A-Rock into his, his hammers. I'm charging Dread into his hammers. I'm charging Chicken Head into that fucking organ gun. Chicken Head wants that organ gun. And I'm charging my orcs into his warriors on the south side there. These guys all get in, of course. These guys get in, of course. This is an easy charge. And Chicken Head's like, what are you guys doing over here? 
Come on, do I have to take out everything for you guys? So Chicken Head gets in over here. Magic phase. Got eight power dice. I go ahead and I throw up Curse of the Wild. Would make these guys harder to hit me by minus one. So I go ahead and I get it off. I throw the Beast within. He dispels that one. I throw up Raging Storm to make sure this guy doesn't run anywhere and he can't stop it. Um, this Mad get killed himself in the trees. And then close combat. Chicken Head was like, boom! Fuck this organ gun. Damn, this thing finally died. Who you got, man? Who you got? Over here, the Dragon Rammer kills this organ gun, and the Engineer and the Dragon Rammer are sitting there still. Um, over here, General Dread gets challenged by the Rune Master, or the I think it is actually his Dwarf Lord. And this Dwarf Lord is not stacked like um, like Todd's Dwarf Lord. T Todd's Dwarf Lord is made to kill my guy. This Dwarf Lord is made to kill random regular guys. And he cannot wound him. I did not wound him though, because he has a two up armor and a four up board or something like that. And I cannot dent his armor. It is nuts. He actually gets every. I, I got, I got eleven attacks coming at him, and he armored and ward saved every single thing. But the A Rock is left alone to finish off the unit, and sure enough, he eats two guys. The goblins go and kill three more guys. The thunderstorm, or he does two wounds to me, and the thunderstorm kills off however many guys were left on there, except for one guy. One guy remains, and I think that's actually the BSB. So as you can see, these are all the dead guys. Now, um, he fails. Obviously, I did like seven wounds or something like that. I charged. He only has like a ban, a BSB, and two wounds. He rolls on his leadership and he runs away and Dread and the A-Rock eat him up and come this way. They actually rolled a very even number, I think. Actually, no. Dread overruns and hits into the Warriors. The A-Rock overruns but doesn't get close. And, uh, yeah. Over here, the BSB goes. BSB kills off one guy. The... I don't even know what this is. I only killed off five guys. That's nuts. <laughs> yeah. I think I only killed off five guys. And, uh, how does this work? Oh, yeah, I killed off five guys. I don't think he killed much of mine, actually, because I don't have a picture of my dead bodies. Um, he killed, it looks like three guys he killed of mine. So, he, um, I charged. I have a rank, banner, BSB, um, five wounds. He did two wounds back. He has ranks and banners. Um, so he fails. Um, he fails his leadership check. His general's dead now. His BSB's dead, too. So he doesn't have a general leadership or a BSB reroll. But he he isn't stubborn. He's going to run away from my guys. And as he runs, he runs into the tree and loses two more guys. And my guys fail to chase him. Actually, I think I failed, um, I failed on the dice roll anyways. But I also run into that rock. So I can't do shit. He's going to get away. And it's going to go ahead and start off Dwarves turn 6. Dwarves turn 6. He rallies here. And uh, Magic Face, he got seven dice, and he's going to go ahead and try to do something. I don't know what he's doing. Um, over here, nothing happens to the Dragon Rammer. Over here, Dread goes and kills off six of his Dwarf Warriors. His seven. Nidhogg killed one. And uh, he goes, he only does one wound onto Dread. Dread scares the shit out of him. Minus one because of fear. They're going to stick there, though. Huh, they stuck. And that. Nope, I take it back. He killed them all. <laughs> oh shit, he made the whole unit run and they ran and Dread just ate the whole fucking unit. What a beautiful ending to the game. He only has one half of the unit left of Dwarf Warriors down there and it is a massive Orcs and Goblins victory. Now he did take a good chunk of my army with him. He took out my go both units of Goblins and my Squigs um, and all my war machines okay he has one unit of dwarf warriors left and the steam copter okay that is nuts my orcs really have to think one person and just go straight into the MVP and that is fucking king fucking chicken head guys I don't care evil ash you could talk shit about him all you want about him on a spider chicken head is chicken head no matter the mount he took like 20 shots he took a cannon shot to the face he took out a cannon he took out an Oregon gun he took out a, a unit of warriors with great weapons for like two turns until these guys got into combat with to help him out he was an asshole and he was a threat 
the whole game. And this is the second game in a row. Chicken Head takes the MVP slot. Kabuto, I like him a lot better on the board. It made me have a lot more options to what to do on Magic. Uh, Dread was solid as hell. Dread took out that unit of Warriors. Dread took out the, the General's Bunker. And Dread took out a whole unit of Warriors there. He took out a whole horde by himself. Chicken Head, you were definitely the MVP still because you, you made sure Dread was still alive. And that's why you're still keeping the MVP. But Dread really should be the MVP as well because he took out three units. Three units. The A Rock took out two units. Um, the Orc Boys just kind of sat there and let them take a turn of uh, whatever. The Nashers were huge. The Nashers really made a big difference into his general's bunker because if he had, uh, you know, all those hammers still alive, he would have been doing a lot more wounds on some A Rock. Not only that, but he would have uh, been steadfast against my A-Rock and my General. So I am glad the Nashers weakened up that unit. The Nashers did a wonderful job of doing that. Um, and my War Machine sucked. My War Machine sucked. The Dragon Rammer took out one Oregon gun. He does have an Engineer live on that hill too still. But massive Orcs and Goblins victory. This is a good day for the, to be a green skin, guys. I hope you enjoyed this battle report. I enjoyed making it, as you guys can tell. I'm really excited on this one. Probably because I took an energy drink right before I started making the video. And I should probably work out right now. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, hit like and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. I enjoy making these videos. I like hearing your guys' feedback. Even if it's something small. Even if it's a rule mistake. Whatever it is. And even if you guys want to just trash me for mistakes I made, do it. I like hearing the feedback and I like knowing what's going on in the games and what I might have missed or what I could have done. I think this game was a good, um, a good show. Didn't know the hills could block my giants because my giant would have been probably dead anyways again. But he would have probably had another churn to live. <laughs> Got a little bit closer. Um, and uh, chicken head, you're fucking nuts, dude. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.